How's it going everybody? This is Jose from the Stock Market 101 channel and I hope you guys are having a great day. And as always, if you guys haven't checked out my latest videos, I suggest you go check them out real quick. And let's get right into it. Okay guys, so we're on the Robinhood portfolio right now. And as you see, we are up 0.96% today. And for the past week, we have rebounded quite a bit, up 2.57%. Because in the past month, my account has been slacking. As you see here, we were up pretty much at up to $10,000 and went down 6%. So let's go check out my holdings real quick. And the first one we have here is Apple. And Apple is at $222 right now. In the past week, it's been performing nicely at 1.69%. And the next one we have here is Amazon. And same thing with Amazon. Amazon also hasn't been doing very well since it went to its highs of $2,050, I believe. But it's been rebounding nicely this past week, up 1.67%. But so let's look at the past month. As you see, it was up to, to $2,050, I believe, at, at its all-time highs, making it a trillion-dollar company. But since then, it's been trending down to lows of $1,900, which was pretty much a good buying opportunity if you wanted to get into Amazon because it went down $150 and it is rebounding nicely. Let's see if it can go back to those all time highs. And let's go on to the next one. Next one we have here is Nvidia. And Nvidia today is up 1.02% and let's look at the past week. In the past week, it's basically been stagnating at and it's down 0.63%. Now let's look at Facebook. And I think this is the core reason why my account dropped so badly in the past month. As you see in the past month for Facebook, it is down 6%, basically the same as my account. Even though I have only three shares, I do have a call option on it, which is killing my account in the short term right now. As you see, in the past week or let's look at let's look at all time my call option i am down qu quite a bit as you see here down 652 dollars which is 24.79 percent but this option does expire next year in march 15th so it has to pass the break even point of 181 dollars and let's look at facebook real quick and see what the price is and Facebook is at $164, so it still has quite a ways of way to hit that $181 from the break-even price. But hopefully it gets back up there. If not, then I'm going to have to take a loss on this. Which I'm not too happy about, but sometimes you just have to take a loss. Let's look at the next one real quick, which is Tesla. Tesla's been on a roller coaster lately since they've been in an investigation. Let's look at the past month. As you see here, just going down and up and down. This was a nice buying opportunity right here at $263, which right now, if you would have purchased anywhere close to that, you would have been up basically 10% from here. Let's look at Microsoft. And Microsoft is at $114.45. And it's basically been down just a little bit today, 0.19%. And let's look at the past week. Past week up nicely at 1.28%. And let's look at the past month. Up very nice at 4.74%. And as you see here, I only have three shares of Microsoft. Let's look at the next one. Abvi. Abvi just a little bit up today. It is up. 0.39% and let's look at the past week up nicely 2.26% and right now my total return is I am in the negative at $50 down and 6.3% in the negative but this is I'm just planning to hold this for a really long time maybe I'll add some more shares the next one we have here is Boeing Boeing is down 0.21% basically recovered after hours at 0.2% in the green for the past week Boeing is up 1.22% and I do believe I heard some news of Boeing 
uh, that they had a, they got a 2.4 billion dollar contract from the U.S. Air Force, beating out Lockheed Martin, which is fantastic. I heard that Instagram's co-founders are leaving Facebook, which is pretty bad news, I would say. But it looks like the stock hasn't been really doing anything since then. It's, I uh, it did drop a lot, basically recovered and back to where it started in the beginning of the day. Next one we have here is Alibaba. Alibaba for today is up 0.67%. And for the week, up 3.3%. Looks like it's bouncing back from all this trade war talk. Yeah, looks like it's stagnating now. Maybe it'll start bouncing upwards. Maybe it could recover to its all-time highs. Hopefully soon. <laughs> and next one we have here is my real estate investment trust, AGNC. Of course, I'm just holding it. This this stock really doesn't do much. Yeah, just in the past weeks, up 0.11%. I want to add a lot more to this so I can get that nice monthly income. And then I have here are my cannabis companies. I have Canopy Growth. I want to add a lot more into Canopy Growth. I want to get more risk, more risky companies into my account because higher risk, higher reward. But there's always that chance that oh, you, my account can just tank really hard. And I'm, I, honestly, I'm fine with that as long as I believe in the company. And I do believe in Canopy Growth of being one of the top dogs in this industry. And as you see here, it is up 0.46%. But during the day, it was basically up almost 5%. And let's look at the past week. Past week, it is down 2.59%. But you could expect this because the cannabis industry is volatile right now. And I believe will continue to be volatile for the next year as well. And let's look at Aurora Cannabis now. Aurora Cannabis is up nicely at 3.65%. I believe that they did have their fourth quarter earnings report the other day. And what I read about, it was all positive growth in almost everything, which is very nice. And um, most likely i'll make a video maybe today maybe tomorrow about it and go over some of the things that i see with you all and here's my watch list these are some potential companies that i might want to start purchasing because i want to get more companies into my portfolio because right now i am pretty much tech heavy maybe 80 90 percent of my stocks are technology stocks which isn't the best and most of these are growth companies, which I want to get into. And that's basically the weekly update for my account. I'll be going over my Robinhood account once a week. So you guys can see what's going on with my account. But other than that, guys, please drop a like, subscribe, turn post notifications on, and I'll see you guys in the next one.